Hi guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. I'm filming in my reading den today and that's because for this video I am going to be doing my first ever TBR for 2023. I'm usually a mood reader. I like to like read whatever and whenever I want without any restrictions on the TBR. But today I thought, well, you know what, Halloween is coming up, I've got a bunch of um, horror books in my room right now and I want to get to them. So I thought, okay, I'll do like a half and half type of thing. I'm going to be still to be, I'm still going to be do, um, as a mood reader if I can speak today. I'm still going to be a mood reader, but I am going to be um, set myself like a pile of books. This isn't going to be all the books I'm going to be reading. If it is, I'm be really really pleased with myself but i've set aside a stack of books a big stack of books that i am going to be picking out of during october so this is going to be my halloween moody tbr so i'm going to be bringing back pax's i mean pax panics series for the halloween period as i mentioned in my halloween plans video which is called pax's little library of horrors I've got two books currently, the other three are in the mail, they should be here really really soon. Two of them are vintage um, witch books and the other one is a Funny Bones book, you know, a family of talking skeletons. But the ones that I currently have right now is this book which is called The Fly and the Spider, which is a black and white type of picture book. Um, so yeah. Can't wait to be reading this for the Little Library of Horrors. And I've also got this Mr. Men, uh, Mr. Tickle Me and and Scary, and when Scary ha um, Halloween, um, which um, I didn't realize it was gonna be this small, but it is quite extensive. It has got pictures on every page. I'll probably be, be able to read this in one day, but yeah. Uh, I don't think I've ever read a Mr. Men book before, but yeah. Does anyone uh, feel that that is sexist in you know, nowadays? I think that this won't, I mean, that title won't fly in this day and age. You know, you know Mr. Men. Yeah, I mean, what about Miss, I mean, what about Mrs. Woman or something like that? You know, I don't know. Or Mr. People. But yeah, that's what we'll be reading for a little library of horrors. Hey guys, so I came back in after I filmed this video and the postman came so I thought I would show you the rest of the books I've got put aside for the Pax's Little Library of Horrors series Halloween special so the ones that I have got are Funny Bones which is it looks like it's a father son and a dog character so that's interesting and next I've got is a I mean one called witches yeah very very creative title although it does have other books in the series which is called giants and dragons so yeah I mean I think this was uh, released in 70s 60s maybe 80s I'm not sure but yeah they were very creative in their titles. So yeah, this is one I'll be reading for Pax's Little Library of Horrors. And the last one I've got is another witch one, which is called Witches 4. So this one I'm looking forward to read. It looks really interesting. It looks very uh, ch um, charming. So yeah, that's that. So five books I'll be reading for Pax's Little Library of Horrors. Might it might be more, but for the time being, it's currently five. So yeah, I just wanted to include this um, in my TBR. Also, as well, for didn't make it clear enough, as well, guys, I am going to be finishing up the horror tube anthology called Lurking in the Dark, which. As I said in my um, in my Halloween plan video or my Halloween plans video rather, I am going to be finishing that book because it's been on my Goodreads account for a year, and I am going to be doing my 
um, separate videos on it. The goal is to read a, one story every day, despite whether it's a work day or not. Then that way I can get all the stories and videos up and running and out, you know. So yeah, expect loads of videos from me during October. So for Halloween, uh, I am going to be not really focusing on author request books. There is going to be one fantasy book that I'm currently reading now. It's taking ages to read. And it's very unlikely that I will be able to finish it before October. I mean, I'll do my best, but realistically, at the beginning of October, I will probably have about 30% to read. So that's going to be the only fantasy book that I'm going to be reading. There is a um, zombie novella that I might try to read during October. If not, then definitely in November. But the books I've chosen are books that are secondhand that I've had in my reading den that I want to try to read and to tick off and to, yeah, take off off my shelves. I've read them, I can pass them on, that type of thing. So this book, so this first book is one that I'm going to be reading throughout October. This is going to be my main book throughout October. If I finish it, then I'll be able to go into something else. But that is Necroscope by Brian Lumley. This is the first of the Necroscope series. I don't know how many books there are in the series. If you do know, let me know down below. Uh, I think this is about vampires. But I've had this in my possession for ages. I love that cover. And I'm excited to get through this. I'm going to really enjoy this. And I cannot wait to read Necroscope, finally. The next two books I'm definitely be reading... And that is a um, book about the Salem Witch Trials. This is a non-fiction book. And because this is, like, the, the font in this is fairly big, I should be able to fly through this one in about two or three days. But the Salem Witch Trials, Mass, Hysteria, and Many Lives Lost, I cannot wait to get through this one. So, never read anything about the Witch Trials. I do know about them, but yeah. And uh, that's going to be interesting. And next I'm going to be reading a Buffy the Vampire Slayer book. Which I've never read any Buffy books before. I've been, I don't really read fan fiction. But if this one appeals to me then I will know that okay, I've, lo I've loved this one. Then I'll be able to read something else. If it's just okay or you know, not that great. You know, I mean I might pick up something else. I don't know if this is a dud or whatever. But this is called um, Halloween Rain. It's very short, so I should be able to get this one, I mean, through this one um, quickly. These next books I'm going to be reading are Point Horror books, just called The Boyfriends, The Babysitter, Teacher's Pets, The Cheerleader, oh, <laughs> that falling over, and My Secret Admirer. I'm thinking that I'll be able to get through not all of them, but the majority of them. As point horror books usually take me a really short amount of times to get through. Um, also, if you've read any of these books, let me know if any of them are worthwhile and if there's any of these that you think I should make a priority during October. Next, I'll be reading is a Richard Lum Lumley book. Um, don't know how you pronounce that. But the reason why I picked this one up is because it's short. So I've never read anything by Richard Lumley before. Or, um, no, Richard Lehman, sorry. I've never read anything by Richard Lehman before. But let me know if this is a, uh, if this is a good book to start off with. It is short. That's probably why I chose it. But yeah, you got to start somewhere with these authors. Next I've got is a kind of a... Um, fiction book on the Amityville Horror by Jay Anson. I have read his The Amityville Horror book, which is a non-fiction book, apparently. It was entertaining, I'll say that. But this one, I, which is called 666, I found this one ages ago on eBay. It was really, really cheap. So cheap, it might as well have been free. But this one was kept on like being reposted and reposted and reposted. And I just felt sorry for the author, so I just, I just decided to buy it. Um, yeah, 
it's and it's a um like a fiction book so it's a made up story based on around the amateur horror so yeah uh that's that next one which i am not a big fan of this concept which is haunted houses i do not like haunted houses and ghost stories i feel that they are massively massively overdone in both books and in movies nowadays but this one is by Peter James, an author that I haven't read before, I think. And the moth has just flown in my reading den, that's nice. Uh, uh, anyway, that, that this one is called The House on Cold Hill. And yeah, I mean, if you've read this one, please let me know if this is worth my time reading. I do, I do want to try to read more haunted house stories or ghost stories, because there's got to be some good ones out there. But yeah, uh, that's that. Um, next I got, which is probably, I mean, I bought this a while ago, but this is probably my most recent read. I mean, most, most, my most recent purchase. And that is Heart Beast by Tanith Lee. And yeah, I think, I think this might be a werewolf book. Because of the snow, I, I mean, if I don't manage to read this one during um, October, I might read this one during December because it's got all snow on the cover, so I, you know, it might be set in the winter, so if not in October, then definitely in December. This next book, I'm going to be, um, um, I will probably be able to read this one because it's really short, and that is The Great Pan God, or um, The like, Great God Pan, by Arthur... Matching, probably said that wrong, but this one's really short, and um, yeah, don't know about this one. I uh, don't know if it's going to be outstanding, but it's really short, so I'll be able to get through this one. It's a bit, and you're at a brisk pace. Yeah, this is one I'm probably going to be able to get through in October. These next two are um, some more point horror books, and that is the Lifeguard. And this next one is a short story collection, which is the, um, which is called Thirteen Tales of Horror. So yeah, or thirteen, <laughs> whatever. Um, this next one is a James, I mean a uh, Ralph James White book. Uh, I can't really say the title, but I've had this one in my possession. I had this fixation on this author because he's like re he's supposed to be a really extreme horror writer. And I just wanted to go on eBay and to see what I could find. These, these books are usually quite expensive online, but I managed to pick this one up. It's a ex-library copy. And uh, yeah, um, I will do my best to give it a go because I want to try to see if this author is going to be my cup of tea or not. Because I do really like extreme horror every now and then. Next is a James Herbert book called The Spear haven't read any James Herbert. I know he's most well known for the rat book or the rats, um, which I have got, but I haven't read. So yeah, um, it's short, so that's the reason why I picked it up or chose it for all my October TBR or my movie TBR. Um, yeah, do not know if uh, James Herbert's gonna be my thing or not. I did try to read his haunted book, The Haunted or Haunted, or whatever it was called. I did read a couple of pages on it and I just wasn't gelling with it. I might have been a bit harsh with it, only judging it by the first two or three pages. But um, yeah, I will go into this one with an open mind if I do pick up in October. Next is a um, Robert Blanche book called American Gothic. Robert Blanche is most well known for his book on Psycho which was um, adapted by um, Alfred Hitchcock. I can't believe I've had to think about his name. I loved the um, Psycho book. It was more or less the same thing as the movie. Uh, but this one, I thought, okay, it'd be kind of interesting. It kind of gave me a, a kind of a um, Frankenstein type of vibes. So looking forward to getting through this one. I've heard that this one's a bit of a slow burn. So, yeah, see how it goes. 
And the next and final book is a Paul Tremblay book. Once again, I've never read anything by Paul Tremblay. I know he's more well known for his um, Cabinet at the End of the World. I think that's what it's called. And um, yeah, this one is called Survivor Song. I got this one. The reason why I didn't haven't read it yet is because it's about a virus and a pandemic, and because um, COVID was happening when I picked this book up, and still is, but no one really cares. Um, it kind of you know, I didn't really want to read something that was going to get me depressed and down. So yeah, I picked one up and I cannot wait to get for this one to read to see what I think of Paul's writing. It does have sprayed edges and this book is a second hand book but without me destroying it completely. It does have a, I don't know how well you can see that in that light but it, it has got a signed book plate on it as well. So yeah, uh, I think I'll probably do my best to read Paul Tremblay book during October but that is the section of books that I currently have in my possession when it comes to poetry books and poetry readings I am still going to be doing poetry readings I've got poetry books in my room right now and it doesn't take me that long to film them and edit them when it comes to all for request books I am unfortunately going to be um, still reading that fantasy book I mean, who, I mean who knows maybe I would have finished it by then and maybe that Zombie no and um, novella as well, but when it comes to my abominable book club box I am going to do my best to Read a book from that box if I can I'm gonna do my best as you can tell by this video I'm gonna be extremely busy with my reading. I am planning to read two books on my day off and Two books when I'm working so four books at once so it's gonna be very ambitious and um yeah we'll see how it goes um once again if there's any books in here that you've read that you think i should make a priority then please comment them down below if there's any books in this uh, pile that you haven't read but you've heard of and you've heard good things about it and you think that i should make a priority or maybe you want to get my thoughts and perspective on then please comment down below and i will make them a high priority so yeah that's been my um, moody Halloween TBR <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm excited um, October is usually a good month for me I've missed I've really missed reading horror because I've been focusing more on fantasy and that's all well and good but when you've read a genre or the same genre for a long period of time it it's still good but it kind of it outstays its welcome and you want to you know, mix it up and read something else but with horror, it's more or less a one and done type of scenario, as I mentioned in my Halloween plans video. So yeah, uh, that's been my um, TBR. Um, let me know what you're planning to read during the spooky season. And I will, cannot wait to get back to cemeteries and to film my videos. I am going to be going to a cemetery, or a big cemetery that I usually go to, really soon to film my little Halloween intro. I'm not saying it's gonna be any good or not, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. And maybe I'll do a little tour video, who knows? It really depends on how I feel and uh, how much storage I've got on my phone and all that stuff. But yeah, I better let you go guys. So with all that out of the way, I'll see you in my next video.